What is going on everybody? Today I'm going to share with you some recent purchases. I just made uh, a few beer items, a few whiskey items. So let's go ahead and check those out. This will be kind of a sharing or an unboxing of some of the things I just picked up. So first of all, I picked this up the other day. This is the Welcome to Bourbon County box set. So I picked this up at my local Kroger. It includes the Knob Creek 9 the Basil Hayden's and also the Jim Beam Black. Happened to see it there, so I thought why not go ahead and grab that. What seemed to be at the time a good deal, here is the back of the box as well. If I can get it held correctly there for you. There you go, so uh, that gives you some details if you wanted to pause and see that there. But I got the three set here, they're all 375s, and it was 50, 70, I think, $50.70 or something like that. Thought it was a good deal until I went out today and found some other stuff to pick up and I saw this at another spot which was actually down at the party source and it was actually 43 down there. So paid $7 more um, at Kroger than I would have paid at party source. I guess it still kind of is a good deal when I looked at the bottles individually. It all came up being around that price. Just wasn't as good of a deal as if I would have got it there at the party source. But looking forward to checking these out. Makes mention on here the Jim Beam is the uh, extra aged bourbon. It says on the label it is the world's highest rated bourbon. So, so the whiskey guys can definitely get back and holler on that to let me know if that's the case. Here is a look at the Jim Beam right there. The black extra aged. And 43% uh, ABV, 86 proof. And uh, we'll see how that actually tastes. Here's a look at the Basil Hayden's. This is definitely one I have not had in the past, so looking forward to actually tasting that as well. And on the back side, has a little bit of the details there as well, talking about how it's actually aged. Um, kind of like the look of it though, that little uh, wrapper they have around is pretty neat. And uh, they definitely put some time for the design of the whiskey. And then the third one here is the Knob Creek 9. So that's yeah, aged for the nine years. This one is actually 50% ABV. Uh, the Basil Hayden's, by the way, is 40% ABV. So 80 proof on that. And then 100 proof on the Knob Creek. So don't really need a big old bottle. I mean, it's just usually me drinking a whiskey here anyway. So a few of these nice little bottles should be nice to go a long way. And they had a nice little setup on the box, which has the map of Kentucky that was behind the bottles as well. As you know, Kentucky is the bourbon state. And now it's time to take a look at stuff I got earlier today. So earlier I went down to the party source and got a few things. Usually at the end of the year, they have their year end sales and a lot of the stuff that they're trying to get moved out. And plus it's the holidays, so a lot of people are down there shopping. And ended up picking up this one here that I wanted to try for a while and i went ahead and grabbed it and this is actually from jameson's it is the cold brew so looking forward to checking this one out it says you can actually best enjoy over ice or you can do it in a cocktail so that's their recommendation there as well a lot of the whiskeys like to drink straight up but uh i'll definitely check it out over ice as mentioned here to see uh, what my thoughts are Jameson Irish Whiskey infused with natural cold brew coffee flavor. And I'm a big coffee fan, so that definitely works. Limited edition, and with this one here, we're looking at 30% alcohol, so 60 proof. So not huge on the ABV, but it should be a nice little smooth thing to enjoy. It says with notes of toasted oak and dark chocolate. So limited edition. And I always do like a little bit of Jameson, so we'll go ahead and try that at a point. So that's really, the whiskeys that I actually have picked up, everything else outside of that will actually be beer at this point. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get that. And if you're wondering, on the Jameson, I actually got that for $27.99, but then it was a $2 coupon that they had with it as well. So knock off $2 off of that. So seemed to be a pretty nice deal overall for the, uh, for the Jameson there. Beer wise. So, beer wise, I'll start with the two I actually got deals on because they were actually uh, moving them out. And the, the first one, this is the Sweetwater Festival. This was $5.99 for the six pack. And this is actually one that 
it's great to pick up because one you have a best buy date of october 23rd of 21 and so we're just right now on december 19th of 20 so plenty of time to let that sit there in the cellar um it's one of their winter type ales is an ale brewed with spices abv on this beer here take a look at the label we're looking at 8.1 percent so it's not one i have to worry about rushing into and here's a look at the beer with the label there as well from sweetwater so there you go and of course sweetwater was just purchased by the uh, cannabis company out of canada so interesting to see what other stuff they'll have going on and then i picked up another one this was also 5.99 a six pack and this is elysian uh by frost winter ale so this is one again that you can let sit for a bit it has a best buy of 421 21 and we're looking here at an abv of 8.3 percent so is there a winter brew a bold pale ale with citrus and earthy hop character balanced by smooth malt backbone unfiltered and may contain sediment so to give you that warning there as well so two nice ones to pick up and here is a look at that label as well and uh, let's see and i like to try their beers from time to time even though they are owned by the big boys now they still put out some good stuff so always worth checking them out after that i kind of got into some of the individuals so i made a couple of make your own six packs the first one to look at here is from breckenridge brewery it is the Hollidale. so that's from breckenridge and this is their holiday ale that they have out at this point this is 10.5% ABV, um, brewed in whiskey barrels, just their Christmas ale. Doesn't really give you too much outside of that. Uh, best enjoyed by 10.5.21 um, that they have on here as well. You could probably go longer than that with that ABV, but you know we'll use that as kind of the guideline. And this one actually wasn't bad for what you're getting here. This one was actually uh, $2.99 for the bottle. So not a bad price on that one there. And I won't go through all the prices and all the stuff, but that, the ones that kind of stand out, I thought I'd share. Uh, and then this one is one from Owick Bruin that I'm not familiar with. It was their Cool Ship Lager, and it was a uh, Czech style lager um, out of Oxford, Connecticut, and had a really cool label on it. So you see that label there. That kind of caught my eye. This was also one, though, that was a deal that they were actually looking to get uh, moved. And it was $1.99 for this one here. So kind of threw that in there. Figured why not give that a shot. I always like a nice black lager as well. So looking forward to seeing how this one kind of pans out. 5.4% ABV there. Uh, another beer that I got here. This is one of our local breweries. And this is from... Braxton Labs, and I didn't really want to get the four pack, but I definitely wanted to try it. It is their gingerbread stout, stout with ginger, cinnamon, vanilla, and lactose. It is part of the dessert series from Braxton, as you can see there, 8.2% ABV. So looking forward to enjoying that as well. Then I picked up uh, another Black is Beautiful beer that I found, and this is a dry hop, dry hop, dry hopped tropical stout. 7% ABV and it was actually done by Harpoon so I had not had the Harpoon version so this will be another one yet in the series and of course this is done after the movement started by Weather Souls out of Texas and here you got the Harpoon logo as well so a little bit lower on the ABV for a Black is Beautiful beer but uh, looking forward to trying that now if that turned out to be something like the one I had from Three Floyds I would be as bothered by it because I'd expect a tropical coming out of it with it being a tropical stout. So we'll see how they did that. That kind of gives me an indication of how much hops they may have put into the beer itself. And then I happened to stumble across this one, not too familiar. Um, and this one I believe is from actually overseas, 8.2% ABV. It is a Weizen Doppelbach and it is a Venice. And I kind of like that cool can they had there. So decided to go ahead and pick that one up. And this one here, I think this one was $3.99 for the can because it was an import that I picked up there, which is fine. So looking forward to actually enjoying that one and uh, checking that out. Always love a nice Doppelbach. Never disappointed, really. And then, as you guys know, one of the breweries I really enjoy is High Wire Brewing. 
and I saw this and I had to grab one of these to give it a check. It is a Raspberry Wow Imperial Wheat Ale brewed with raspberries. I love the pop of the color off the can as well. So looking forward to checking this out. An Imperial Wheat Ale, what I didn't see on the can here, what I did see it, it was actually hidden there. 9% ABV, kind of in that sunburst right there. Now, at first I couldn't find it, but then I did uh, find it there after looking at it for a bit. So looking forward to checking that out. Of course, love some high wire. And that's the one six pack. And then the last six pack that I picked up That will be the ones here. And we'll start off with one that I happened to notice that was kind of interesting on the look. And this is from Lakewood Brewing. It is their French Quarter Temptress. Didn't know much about this one. Ale brewed with lactose, sugar, and vanilla with bourbon, barrel aged coffee beans, and chicory. 9.1% ABV. Nice looking bottle there. Caught my eye as well. And then on the side, it gives you all the kind of things, especially like what you want to enjoy it at. You know, we talk about temperatures of beers and stuff like that on here. 45 to 55 degrees is kind of where you, I'm sorry, 50 to 55 degrees is where you want to target it. Um, gives you the initial gravity that was used, uh, 56 IBU, 33 SRM. So for you guys into the colors of the beer, kind of gives you that. It says it pairs well with creme brulee, beignets, and voodoo magic. So I kind of think Lakewood might be out of Louisiana, but trying to notice on here. No, actually they are out of Garland, Texas, but they're going with the Louisiana uh, information on this beer. And this one here was also another one that I happened to see that was also like a dollar off. So it was like $2.99 a bottle versus uh, I guess it was $3.99 usually. So I went ahead and grabbed that. That's the French Quarter Temptress, but I also grabbed the Base Temptress as well, which also was a deal there. This is also the Imperial Milk Stout. This one, 9.1 ABV, pretty much the same, except I'm thinking in the ingredients, a little bit different. This one says, pairs well with robust blue cheese, dark chocolate, and it says sin <laughs> that's the last thing there um so a little bit different and it doesn't have some of the ingredients of the first one there so that's kind of the base and then the other one was the variant off of that now we take a look here i've got one of my local brews which i've been owing to check out the stuff they've been doing as well this is from wooden cast brewing it is the double barrel brownie imperial stout and this one actually, I had to look up on a tab, but I believe it was 13.1% ABV. Uh, double barrel aged, uh, twice in bourbon barrels with cocoa nibs added. So this is one I'm definitely looking at, checking out. Shout out also to Randy who actually owns Wooden Cask. And I need to get down there at some point again. Also want to check out one from Great Lakes because I haven't had a Great Lakes beer in a while. And this is their triple double dog dare. Or just triple dog dare. It's kind of on the double. I don't know why I threw the double. But the triple dog dare, which is a Belgian style triple ale. This one um, actually good out through April. So again, I try to get beers I can hold out for a little bit on with some of the stuff I have in this cellar. 9% ABV on this one here. So 30 IBU as well. Looking forward to doing that because Great Lakes makes some good stuff out of Cleveland. Um, and then this is the one I probably, well, this is the one I spent the most on as far as like an individual type beer, but I really wanted to try it out. And with Urban Artifact, they are probably one of the best fruited breweries in the country. It is their Epicurean, it is their peanut butter and raspberry jelly. So I was able to get one of these as a can itself. Uh, I think the can for this one, taking a look here, is $4.49. And uh, really looking forward to, to checking it out. And shout out to both Scots that run that as well. This one comes in with an ABV of 8.5%. So looking forward to enjoying that. And then the last one will be from 50 West, another local brewery. It is the Pick Me Up Tiramisu Stout. 
I love the artwork when they can. They put on this one and looking forward to checking them out. 50 West does some great things on their beers as well. 10.1 ABV. So this is another one I can hold for a little bit of time. This was just canned 12.4 and today is 12.19 so we're 15 days out. So these are the beers you'll have a chance to see me actually review at some point here upcoming. Can't tell you exactly when because there are some other things that are kind of ahead of the beers right now. But thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Look forward to me sharing all of these things. If there's other ones that you guys are interested in and you want to check to see if I may have that, you know, feel free to leave me a comment. Always willing to see if I have those beers, so I can get those put up more to the front so you can check out what I think of those as well. And I'm going to start doing some of the whiskey stuff as well on a different playlist here. I've got a few on the channel, so I'll get those organized already, but I'll share some of the thoughts on these. Although, my whiskey game is nowhere near my beer game, so just be prepared for that. And look forward to uh, catching up with you guys soon. Thanks for checking out another video. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.